Jim, I think long ago, several months ago, you, you talked about goals, you talked about championships. Uh, there's a big one out there, but, but the ACC championship, what would that mean for you guys to be able to perform Saturday and bring that back to Tallahassee? Well, it would mean a lot, especially for the team, Norm. All we've been through, especially with, you know, the bringing of Coach Norville to Hill, it'll mean a lot, you know, to just, you know, get the ball back rolling oh, yeah, for the fans and for the organization. Where are you guys at right now? I mean, this is your ninth straight game, I think, after the bye week. I mean, just how are you guys feeling? Is just being this close to the finish line, does that keep you energized enough to push through? Yeah, being close to the finish line, it take all the pain and the hurt. So, we, you know, just trying to finish. I know this, this next game ain't the last game, but getting closer to what we want to be at. You kind of reflect on, on your career, your your time here. Like, what's the biggest area you've you've grown in as a player, and maybe even as a person? I think my biggest area for growing as a player and a poet, um, person is consistency. You know, just being consistent at what I do, keeping the main thing the main thing, not getting discouraged and stuff. That's why I say consistency. To have the, to have the performance you had in the swamp, like how how cool was it? How good did it feel to be that productive, especially the first half when you guys really really needed it. Yeah, I really wasn't paying attention to it. I just was, you know, just making sure I made the players, you know, we don't like them boys, so I was just making sure <laughs> if nobody ain't going to do it, I got to make sure I'm there to do it. So that's how I took that. Kind of adding on to that, Coach Norvell and Coach Fuller shouted you out at their Monday, on their Monday morning press conference. What do those mean, or what do those words mean to you? I mean, I appreciate the words, but, you know, we got a lot more to go. I mean, I know for them, they probably looking at it like, you know, it's good to have me finally, you know, playing good ball. But for me, I feel like I supposed to have been doing this. And just, I appreciate it though, but I ain't really too much wanted it. But I, I still appreciate it though, like you know, the knowledge, man. Was Saturday your best game? Yeah, I would say because I actually, you know, made the plays with no MAs, so I played a clean game. So I put that up. Were you just was being extra locked in? Was there anything you can kind of attribute to? to why you were so uh, productive, why it was your best game? Uh, I mean, me personally, I just fam study, situational awareness, just knowing because with that game, you just got to know what situation to pull up in. So rival games, you just got to know. So me playing in a lot of, of them games, I knew what to expect in certain situations. Do you like it when they call the safety blitz? <laughs> yeah, they ain't been calling all year, but yeah, for sure. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> Hopefully that we get some more this week. <laughs> That was a flag you on, that, on that tackle. You seemed to handle it pretty well. What was your thought process? Yeah. My thought process was, yeah, just being my career at Florida State, it was too good to be true anyways. I know it was something going to happen. I ain't gonna, I know it was something going to happen. That's why I didn't even look back. Because I was just too freed, and I was like, yeah, I know something. That's why I didn't even they really pay attention to it. Did the referee explain? Yes, sir. I would. I would have made the next play, but they sent the tight end back and blocked me. So he stopped me. Then he ran in a free hole. That would happen. But I would have made the next play too. <laughs> oh yeah. What stands out to you about Louisville? Um, that we've been playing against them already. I ain't gonna say they're the same, but we we know of each other already. Ain't too much ups and downs to say, but we know about each other already. So. The thrash kid at wide receiver, how good is he after the catch with the ball in his hands? We gonna have to see. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, we we us, we Florida State, so we gotta see where where they gonna be Saturday. Yeah, I mean, physically, do they compare it's tough similar to anybody that you guys played this year? I say they run a little similar run scheme in Florida, but. Passing wise, I like I like my corners and nickels to do their thing. I'm not gonna help them the way I help them. When you guys are down twelve nothing against Florida and they're getting the ball back in plus territory, what's the mood like on the sideline? How did you guys go out there and you know get a crucial stop? I mean, it really be like a time for everybody to show their heart. So it'd be like a time to show if you a man or not. Cause we down, everybody against us, they fans all up into it now. So it's like it showed that we all we got, we all we need. That makes is this opportunity that you have ahead of you, kind of while you came back? I mean, you got a shot to win the ACC title, maybe to get the college football playoff, too. I mean, yeah, this is part of the reason I came back. You know, being in this situation, a blessing, you know, from all the work we put in, and for us to still be here and still focus on the main goal is still a blessing.